So we're going to meet with his staffer. It's been five years since Kalisa Ndikumwena arrived in North Dakota after fleeing war in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Coming to North Dakota was really a uh, hard transition. Now Kalisa is hounding the pavement, sharing his story with lawmakers on Capitol Hill. As myself, I graduated in high school, and then uh, I got a chance to go to college. But other people, they don't get the same chance that I got. So that's some of the stuff I'm trying to talk to the uh, officials here and the senators. And he isn't alone. He joined delegates from all 50 states. They're part of Refugee Congress, an organization dedicated to giving refugees and asylum seekers a voice. I had to be separated from my family during the war. Fidel and Shambo also fled the Congo when he was only 12 years old. Now he lives in Boise. We live in Idaho with our four daughters and one on the way. The topic of refugee resettlement has sparked a heated debate. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump says he wants to bar refugees from entering the U.S. If they're from places where adequate screening can't occur. Fidel doesn't agree with that approach, and now he's voicing his concern. We cannot stop something to fix it. We fix it as we go. That's how you learn, and that's what I want the senator to do. These refugees passionate to help others make the transition a unique chance to start over. It's really great opportunity for myself, knowing that I'm not by myself like in this journey. In Washington, Samantha Joe Roth reporting.